They never check the types. Hey, sweetie. Uh, yeah, Dad's gonna be a little late. Um, I'm kind of in a tight spot. It was a damn property line. <clears throat> All right, bye, honey. Hey, you want to use the phone? All right. You want a pop tart? It's always people like you. What the hell is that supposed to mean? That's why everyone laughs at us. You need to stay in character at all times. It's the nature of this profession. Who says that Batman can't eat a pop tart? He's a wealthy entrepreneur. He eats caviar, not pastries. So what the hell if he's rich? He can eat all the pop tarts he wants. It makes him more relatable. Superman does not eat pastries. You know. I think you're right. I used to watch his cartoons when I was little. Never seen him eat a damn thing. He absorbs the sunlight. Never seen him take a shit either. You're telling me the asshole shit sunshine? Give me the Pop Tart. What the hell for, man? Give me the damn Pop Tart. Would you like a Pop-Tart? Hey, come here. What the hell is that all about? About staying in character? Hey! Holy chicken nuggets, Batman! Dude, you don't even know why the hell she's in here. I don't care! I kicked the man in the testicles. <laughs> he was getting a little too personal with the pictures, and he didn't tip me. So I had to tip him, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, girl power. Do any of you boys have a smoke? Yeah, hold on a sec. I can't believe how useful these pants are. So, Superman, what are you in here for? Yeah, I thought it was out of character to break the law. You know those phone booths at the street corners? I changed in it. Changed? You mean, from Clark Kent to Superman? Precisely. You telling me you got naked in a phone booth? A tourist wanted a picture of me as Clark Kent. I told her to turn around and stand in front of the booth. The booth's got four sides, honey. Dude, how big was this lady? It doesn't matter. She ran away. Shit, man, I can't find it, babe. It's all right. Damn, and I had a lighter in there, too. So what are you in here for, honey? Crossing the property line. Damn Chinese theater. They're just dying for any excuse to get us out of there. I came here ten bucks in my pocket. You know. Just another asshole wanting to live the dream. And I ain't got shit for it. Well, except for this AT&T phone. It's so cute. The phone? What, the phone? Uh, never mind. So, I'm out there taking pictures for asshole tours, and I look behind me, you know? And I see the Chinese theater, and I'm walking on the stars, all the famous names, right? So I see Will Smith's thing, right? And I go up to it, and I get on the ground, put my hand in his. And I looked at it, you know, and I tell to myself, I'm an actor. I'm an actor. And that's when they hauled me in. Hey, so are you going to be the next Will Smith? Yeah. Your ass is smoking. What? Your ass, it's smoking. Oh, shit. I want to write screenplays, direct movies be the next Steven Spielberg. On my 18th birthday, my mama sat me down that night. She said, anytime I want to leave, make it for LA. She'd go down to the airport, buy me my ticket, and wish me luck. What'd you say? I said, yeah. She, she asked me when, I said, tomorrow. Hey, you guys want any more Pop-Tarts? You're kind of toasted now. Hey, buddy, what about you? I wanted to be a singer. Like a rock star? Brazilian Samba. Like you make your own songs and everything, dude? Yeah. Play something, man. Superman doesn't sing. Well, what else are we gonna do, bro? Do you have a guitar in your tights? Oh, damn. Love you, Hollywood.